We are an hour and 15 minutes into WWE's Monday Night Raw, and we have had one match. This has been a big, huge, historic night for Monday Night Raw, setting up WrestleMania 32. I know that there was a lot of complaints coming out of WWE's Fastlane last night, basically saying that we didn't really know anything about WrestleMania other than Roman Reigns versus Triple H, and we were going to get answers, but I didn't think we'd get this many answers. I mean, you think about it today, we've got uh, Godfather going into the Hall of Fame, we should have Shane McMahon versus Undertaker in a Hell in the Cell match. Now here we are, Brock Lesnar comes out on this... Um, Monday Night Raw with Paul Heyman. Uh, he makes his way to the ring. Uh, I honestly was surprised that it took them this long uh, to get into Raw to talk about the attack of Dean Ambrose outside. This is a video that was loaded to YouTube and it was put up on their social media. And even if it, when I watched the Raw pre-show before WWE's Monday Night Raw, it took them 15 minutes of the pre-show before they get to, oh yeah, Dean Ambrose got his ass kicked. I, I'm guessing that maybe they just think that we all have WWE loaded up on our Twitter account and we're just like refreshing over and over and over again. But here we are. Um, I believe this would be the start of hour number two uh, when Brock made his way down to the ring. And from there, uh, Paul started talking about how Brock Lesnar was robbed and that he should be the main event. Uh, basically, Dean Ambrose picked a fight with Brock Lesnar and that, uh, you know, basically Brock was just getting his revenge because Brock is the main event and deserves to be the main event of WrestleMania 32. Uh, but it was Dean Ambrose coming in there, taking out Brock Lesnar with the chair shots. And now Brock Lesnar needs a WrestleMania. Mania opponent. At this point, Brock Lesnar basically has an open challenge put out there by Paul Heyman. Uh, basically, that nobody answers. I was thinking of like the ultimate warrior answering the open challenge from the hunky tonk man or something like that. And as you know, Brock and Paul are about to leave, we hear an ambulance pulling up uh, to the back. And I don't know if they filmed this live and uh, maybe they shouldn't have, uh, but basically, um, and we see the ambulance pulling up into the back, and from there, somebody left a whole bunch of shit in its way, and Dean Ambrose basically just has to, to plow through it, and it takes a while, and finally the ambulance makes its way um, out in front of the crowd uh, where the stage is, and we can see that it's actually ran over a trash can, and the trash can is shoved up underneath of the bumper, and it's just being dragged along the way. Uh, from here, we see Dean Ambrose get out of the... Uh, um, the ambulance and stumble his way, crawling all the way to the ring. And from there, we see Brock Lesnar doing his best uh, Allen Iverson impression, doing the step over Dean Ambrose and just walking up the ramp and leaving the man behind. From there, Dean Ambrose is given a, a microphone. And from there, he puts out the open challenge uh, receipt, basically saying that he wants to fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. No holds barred in a street fight. This man is crazy. This man is been bananas. From there, um, you know, Brock Lesnar makes his way down to the ring where he would pick up Dean Ambrose and hit an F5 right on the floor. And from there, uh, Paul Heyman jumps down and gets into Dean Ambrose's face saying that he accepts the challenge and that Brock Lesnar will face Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania 32 in the street fight. No holds barred. Fucking bananas.